Not sure what to do with your resistance band? I have a 12 minute EMOM workout just for you coming up. Jacqueline Castro here and welcome to Courageous Fit Female and this channel is all about equipping Christian women to get fit and healthy God's way. So if that describes you, go ahead and click on the subscribe button below and tap on the notification bell so that you will be notified of my brand new uploads. If it's your first time hearing EMOM, it's very simple. It stands for every minute on the minute and you're gonna be doing a prescribed number of reps within a minute. Your rest time begins as soon as your reps are complete for that minute. For example, if you complete 15 lunge knee ups in 30 seconds, then you have 30 seconds remaining and that 30 seconds is going to be your rest time. Today's workout is a 12 minute EMOM with three moves and each minute you're gonna be doing one of these moves. So let's get into the explanation. The first move is a lunge knee up on the right. So you're going to place the band over your, bot your shoulder just like this. And this is a half harness position. This, that's what this is called. You're going to create resistance, press down, step down with the arches of your feet and make sure the position of the band on the front is in the midline of your body. Same thing in the back of your body, the band should be in the midline of your body. So then what you're gonna do now is basically a reverse lunge with a knee up, okay? So I call it a lunge knee up. So your hips, your feet are pointed forward, hip width apart, and all you're doing is lunging back, making sure that your tailbone is pointed straight down to the ground. Then you're gonna drive your knee up at the top of the move. Just like this. This is a lunge knee up on the right, okay? And if this is too much, feel free to just tap down instead of driving your knee up. So it's gonna look just like this. Here's a bonus. If you want to add more resistance to this move, you, can, you have free hands. So you can hold a dumbbell. Feel free to hold a dumbbell. Feel free to hold two dumbbells. It's really up to you if you have a sandbag, if you have um, a medicine ball or whatever you have. Hold a gallon of water, I don't know, whatever. If you want to add more resistance, your hands are free. So that's why I love these flat loop resistance bands. That's move number one. Now with the mountain climber, you're going to take your band, place it over your body. And here's the key thing with doing a mountain climber with a resistance band, is you need to make sure that it's on your lower part of your back, not the mid part or the top. And that's why, again, I love flat resistance bands because it's not gonna be sliding around. So I'm gonna position it on the lower part of my back, okay? And all I'm gonna do is get into a plank position with the band over and under my hands, just like this, down into a plank position, making sure there's resistance between my hip or my lower back and my hand. That's where the resistance of the band is at, okay? So you're here in a plank position and you're doing a mountain climber, resisted band mountain climber, driving your knee forward, alternating one at a time. So again, if this is too much for you, go ahead and don't use the band. As you can see, you don't need the bands, right? You can do mountain climbers without the band. But if you want even more resistance, you can double up the band, doing the same thing, just doubling it up, okay? Wrapping the band over and under, placing the band at the lower part of your back, and going from there. Same thing, okay? So depending on how much or how little resistance you want, you can challenge yourself by doubling up, keeping it single. As you can see, you can do this workout without a resistance band. Now for move number three, it's the exact same move as move number one, except it's the opposite side. But so you're going to place the resistance band over the other side of your body and step on the same thing, right? Arches of your feet, same position. Your feet are hip width apart and you're doing the move here. Driving that knee up, making sure that your knees are not passing your toes. So if you look down and your knees are passing your toes, then you're not being in a safe position. And also, your heels should also always be pressing down. So here's kind of like a, an extra tip. If you find that your heels or the balls of, I'm sorry, the balls of your feet are driving forward, you're gonna really start to injure your knee over time. So make sure your heels are pressing down into the ground and drive up through your heel on the way up. 
Again, you don't have to drive your knee up here. You can always tap here, just like that. And if you want more resistance, go ahead. You have free hands. Get a pair of dumbbells or whatever you have and go from there. So that is move number three, lunge knee up. Grab your water and your band, set your timer for 12 minutes, and remember that we are doing this workout to steward our bodies so that we can be effective for God's kingdom. Let's get straight into the workout.
Great job ladies on that workout. You are now done unless you want to repeat the exact same structure, the exact same exercises. This EMOM workout was 12 minutes, but you can rest for two minutes and repeat the whole thing again, making it a bonus round for you. Completing it will be a 24 minute workout, low impact workout just for you. Now, if you like this video and you found value in this video, you're gonna to want to click below on the subscribe button and tap on the notification bell so that you'll be notified of brand new uploads on my channel. This is Jacqueline Castro signing off for Courageous Fit Female and until the next video, stay courageous and fit.